Welcome, guys, to yet another game of the League of Legends. Today, we're playing Support Vilkas. And if you're wondering why, I was planning on going mid Vilkas, but in the end, I just want support because it was too annoying. <laughs> you see, no one wants to queue in as a support, so let's go over the teams. Support Vilkas, Mid Nidalee, Jungle Fizz, ADC Cookie, and Top Sins. Then we have, I'm guessing, Top Mitsuraka, Top Galio, Jungle Rek'Sai, Support Sona, and ADC Twisted Fate. And, okay. I'm sorry, but this guy needs my help. Sorry. I only auto. My bad. Uh, I hope he doesn't mind too much. Okay, I don't know what he's doing. This guy wants to help with the leash. So I'm gonna stand here. So I can geometrize it. Okay, so this guy's just like really pissed off because I stole that kill, but he was gonna die if I didn't come. So we should be grateful that it's not all cool. Because I mean, there was every obvious which way that he was gonna go ahead and die. You know what I mean? He doesn't need to bully me. So I was right, it's Sona, him bot. Okay, I was wrong. I, I was a little confused, that's why if you saw any hesitation, it was probably because I wasn't completely sure whether or not it was gonna go down like I thought it did. Okay, I don't think I got that off, but Vilkaz, especially since I got this, I'm gonna need constantly to poke. I think yep. My geometry was right. Sadly, I don't have the whole. Uh, I was hoping he'd back off because he saw that. Now let me just go ahead and get the tectonic disruptor. Okay, so he's slowing me. But now we're going ahead and doing damage. But right now we should probably back off, which should have been done a little bit sooner. Now let's see. Yes. As you guys see, one reason thing I really like about this guy is I tend to have really good with the skill shots. Like, I know I'm really bad at skill shots, but I know my life isn't in danger. Like, I'm not gonna instantly like, blow up. I'm not too afraid of the mess ups of a skill shot, so. The thing was, like, other people who get skill shots, like, there's this whole idea that if I miss, it's entirely gonna screw me up. And I don't like that at all, that feeling. Oops, I didn't mean to get that auto off if I, I was hoping I'd knock her up, tank the turret, and then let Cork get the kill, even if I had to die for it. Okay, so I'm gonna back up now that I have enough of the sight zone. I took one kill, then I gave the other to Cookie. So Twisted Fate is pretty hard. And let's see, they got one kill. Uh, I don't know who that was on. Let me just take a quick check. One person on our team to die is Sinsed, okay. But now he's taking it back by killing the Cookie. I can go ahead and get my beloved sight stone so I can have all the wards in the world that I need. And then I get two pinks. I mean, I only need one, and you only can place one at a time. But if they do find it pretty quickly, I, it would be nice to have a second one down. And if I do decide to, like, maybe change it, like, I'm going to post the pink wood there in the tri bush. Not exactly in that one spot. I missed the tri bush with my ping. But then I'm going to, if I want to, like, put it somewhere else. Okay, so it's AD Soraka. So they have two AP players playing as AD, but... 
80 Swak isn't that weird, weird actually. It was actually a well kind of played thing. If you guys didn't know. Let me just get up some bow. Okay, so I'm taking some damages. I can't put a ward in there. Now that I have a multitude of wards. Okay. This guy's getting caught out. Okay, I hope we you can go ahead and get that guy. Now, I don't know if Yahoo's gonna be coming for me. But hopefully, I can survive. This geometrize, yep. Skill shots are my forte, especially on someone like this guy. Okay. I actually think I might have missed him there. I don't, I'm not totally sure. But we have a lot of pressure on them, so I'm gonna want to get a pink instead of on the thing here to almost get like a feel for the enemy's jungle path. So I don't need got out. I don't think I have too much to worry out. Rex I might notice me if I move. The thing is like I don't know if you guys know this about Rex I, so I'll give you a quick briefing. But Rex I can in, while in digging, if you move, she can send like yeah. That's the one reason I went ahead and got this. I'm gonna get this because this is a knockup. I don't really care too much about it. This is a slow, so if I can slow my enemies more, it'll be so much more better for our team. But Rek'Sai can sense movement using like echolocation like a bat. She feels the vibrations in the ground while bats feel vibrations in the air with the echoes. They, basically, they screech, make vibrations in the air, and then screech some more. Yep, I knew it. He's coming, but... Oh, that geometry, right? That good old geometry that, no, that don't go failing me now. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and put a wood here. And step on this, because we need to get rid of these tunnels, actually. And because they're so close, I don't really want to go ahead and put a wood here. That might be a little dangerous. Okay, so predicting some movement towards the turret. I'm just gonna put some damage down. Since I have a lot of mana. An enemy has been slain. Okay, so I can make pretty good predictions, but I have to remember that I am a support and I can die. I'm not a tank like I'm used to. So I don't know why he's going for me, I guess. It would have been more probably helpful in the end to go for the corky. And I really wish I could have saved the corky there, but there was nothing I could do. So hopefully I can keep them around. Let's see. Uh, I don't think I hit that, to be honest. That's a sad, sad day for me. But hopefully, I can stick around and maybe... I don't know why. We be beat, my friend. So maybe they got our ADC, and that's pretty bad, but our jungler is doing a pretty fine job. And that's kind of like the thing. People with like Fizz, you have to get the ult. You have to like time things much better than I can do. Or I believe that I can do. And that's kind of like one of the reasons why I don't like. Okay, so I'm farming. And I'm low, but I still want to get these tunnels because that will, in general, just help our team because now Rex I can't ult to us automatically. Now that this has been worth a while. Sorry, guys. It's warded, so they might know that the pink wood's there and move to take it. And I'm going to back now. And. Get my trademark Moby boots on my support. Basically, nowadays I get Moby boots on everything, but I hope you guys don't mind. One more pink ward, and let's see, focusing on our next item. 
I think it would be decently acceptable to uh, support items have been less and less seen nowadays mostly because they're not really all that great and okay I just felt like getting stuck on the wall there so Koki right now has one two two he should be a little bit more careful but in general our team has the big advantage the galley has the most kills I'm guessing one shut down okay now it has still has the most kills the galley Okay, so I'm gonna back off. Okay, so if you guys saw, I accidentally got another kill. Since, of course, I'm the one getting all these kills. I'm getting fed for some reason. And I really am not a big fan of that. Mostly because, like I've said before, my goal is not to get fed. My goal is to feed my teammates. So, roles like support and, in general, just being tanks are what I prefer. And I really... And I really like almost like feel a little bad about getting those kills. I guess Dinch has resigned. Nope, he hasn't. He's just going the other way around. Okay, so Corky, we need to get him fed. He's a little. He doesn't says he doesn't care anymore. And I guess that means he's kind of like a little disappointed. He doesn't think he's gonna get kills. And I guess we gotta go ahead and help. Okay, I can't do much there. So he just got juked. But now they're going behind the enemy lines to go ahead and get that. I don't know how incredibly wise that is, but it seems like they got it just fine. So, hmm, let's see. Cookie died. Sadly, we weren't there to help. Now let me just check this, make sure there's no wards, so hopefully I can get away without a hitch. But our mid might have a little bit of a struggle, but come on. Uh, perfect, I forgot to mention this again at the beginning. I have to apologize to my friends. But we're playing with Perfect Leopard as an Italy, and we're playing as One Ring to All as a Fizz. Because they're really fun to play with, and like you see, like, I think One Ring is probably the best as a jungler, because what I've seen him, I think that's pretty much the best role he plays best. Okay, so I'm just gonna stay mid lane because the jungler is here. Okay, and I take a lot of damage. So I haven't died yet, so I'm kind of overestimating myself I guess you could say believing that I am invincible I guess okay no need to crap talking I don't need to take me now I mean it's my fault that cookie might be a little um, salty and 
I really wish that I could grab some more kills than the other ones. And that's my bad entirely. And that's something I, I am really sorry for. Oh no. Well, it was close. Hopefully Koki can go ahead and get those kills. And I don't want to take them. Okay. Huh. I'm probably gonna just have to stop shooting things off. I should stop using my Q. I need to stop using my Q. I have like the mad, 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 mad Qs. Okay, I'm gonna tank your story. Okay, the minions are here. So I can back off without fear of death. And now mid lane got a double kill, so good job for her. Now I start leveling up my um, E, because I believe leveling up my Q anymore at this point. Well, for this, for the reason I can, because once you get to level four, it wants you to level up other skills if you haven't leveled other things up. And in general, my Q is just becoming too immensely powerful. I have 62 whatever AP, and it has like a 0.5 ratio, I guess you'd say. So, I have about 200 plus 37. So, in general, I might have a little bit of a strong. Okay, I'm dead. Hopefully my mid lane can take it away. I have died. I flew too close to the sun, but that's all my fault. I took too many kills and I became a high priority target. Good job, team. Huh. It's probably better than I died. I needed to get my head out of the clouds. Can't sit there feigning like I can't die. Let's get drag. Let's see. No one's gotten the dragon yet, as far as I can tell. But it might just be because no one's visited the dragon. So I'm on my way. We're asking for the assistance. Okay, so he went ahead and did whatever. And he didn't survive. Okay, what here? I think it's been taken out. I wonder if this thing is taken. Nope. But maybe we should, instead of trying to take the red buff, because that's kind of weird and deranged considering we're not building damage. But if you guys see, like, I have this whole thing where if I get off feast axe my Q, I mean not my Q, but this passive by hitting them three times consecutively for a while without doing much. But now then, I actually have my whatever alt, so I should be able to do an immense amount of damage soon. So, run, cookie. I will sacrifice my life for you. Okay, so, we got a little greedy there. I mean, it was in the back of my head that they might be waiting for someone to come, whether it was in a mid lane or jungler or top or anything, but I kind of, like, have been getting greedy. I mean, like, I've wanted to get this. Like, that I, like, I wanted to get a kill there at least. I mean, I didn't exactly, I mean, I guess that's because I'm getting so many kills that I want. I have the taste of blood in my mouth and I want more of it. I want more, I want more, and it's so good and tasty. Has been slain. But I gotta snap out of it, you know? I've gotta go through things smarter than I have been. Okay, that was close, actually. This guy does damage. So as you guys have seen, let's see if I can just go ahead and do that. Okay, I did 
that probably, probably out of, completely out of necessity. That's all you guys have to know. That was completely and utterly necessary. Let's see, I hope Cookie got it. I think Cookie actually didn't get it. So good job, Cookie. Cockmeister. Don't tank the torch for too long. It's bad for your health. And Shirak is coming. Okay, so I actually do immense damage. Actually. I mean, I actually do like immense damage. For some reason. Okay, I'm probably gonna die if I stay too long. Hopefully, Koki can get that. Good job, Koki. Really easy, I know. Yep, I believe in Koki. So the thing is, if you can get enough damage on somebody, in all actuality, you don't really need to be all like this or like whatever, like. I can do damage off on my own and not take the kill, but it's kind of tricky sometimes, to be completely honest. And he's getting multiple kills. And if he doesn't die, we would have, I would have been ashamed to call myself a member of this team. No, I'm just kidding. I would have, I'm ashamed already to call myself a member of this team, mostly because I'm being a horrible teammate. How can I even dare call myself a member of this team, you know what I mean? I've been taking kill after kill. I should be ashamed of myself. So he's gonna probably flash. So, let's just say that. And I lived. That's all that really counts, right? Um, and I got the team, I got my team out to kill. So good job, I knew like, if I died, we could have gotten that. Good job to me. Nah, not really. I'm being greedy as heck. So let's see. Hmm. Next item on my list. Huh. They've really made it hard on support people. So let's go Twin Shadows. It's not the most conventional pick, but it's kind of like the only thing I can think of at the moment. If you guys don't know what it does, I send out two little things of whatever. Two little, little ghosty guys who walk the night, the dead of night. Okay, so he might get both of them places right. Yep, he's probably going to get Soraka. Okay, so... just doing that to prevent my death from the minions. So hopefully we kind of do things here. Uh, awesome. Okay, so I was able to survive that. Who got the kill actually? I hope I didn't. I mean, I, I thought I had five kills. Uh, please don't let me that kill or something. I don't think I did. I think the ult popped maybe yes. Maybe the ult popped early because I was saved. So let's see, cool down right now, I have 25, so getting a bit more is going to be helpful. Hopefully Koki can though go ahead and take down that turret, and go after the guy, that be Good job. Koki's the MVP here. He has suffered from my tyranny, and, he has, and he's coming out on top of these fights. You know? Gotta be like, woo doo doo doo. So both well played. Nice sportsmanship. I like it. I like it a lot. So Soraka's going around the other way. So let's see if I can't get an assist. Okay, so she knows I'm here, so she's going towards the turret. So I should imagine that Fizz will take care of her. I'm no longer needed. Sadly, I am obsolete. Oh, no, 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 I'm coming. Run to me, my friend. Oh, no. 
They could be in that bush. Okay. They're coming from behind the cookie. Oh, please, 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 please. Okay, so they surrendered. Good job, well played. That was a fun match. I hope you guys enjoyed. Remember, as a support, I may have not followed this rule at all, but try not to get kills unless it's absolutely necessary. Like, if your teammates can't get them and they're going to get away alive, you can get the kill, do it. If your teammates are unable to get the kill because of death or something, you got to do it, okay? So I apologize for my onslaught of death as a support, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video because it was a lot of fun. So, if so, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.